Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is five o'clock UK time, uh, 5.04 to be exact. And for the rest of the world, it is some other time. I believe in the States in some places, it is like six hours behind where Jamaica is six hours ahead. And uh, I want to come on today just to talk about something very <clears throat> interesting which is happening in Jamaica. As you're aware of COVID-19, COVID-19 has changed the game in many ways. And as a result of that, in Jamaica, they're having the Jamaica first live virtual fundraising concert. Okay. I want to know if you can hear me clearly. You can hear me clearly, um, gentlemen. Yes. Can yes. Hear? Yes. Fantastic. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I have with me Mr. Uh, Nathaniel Pete. Uh, Nathaniel, Nathaniel Pete is one of the, and I'm going to make it very clear because I'll get it right here. Is a Jamaica Global Jamaica Diaspora Council South Representative and the Chairman of Jamaican Inspired and member of the Jamaica Telephone Concert Working Group, which is in process now. Also, we have <clears throat> Mr. Kevin Brown of the UK North Representative Global Jamaica Diaspora Council (JGDC), which is Global Jamaica Diaspora Council Jamaica Diaspora UK. Now I'm gonna ask you gentlemen, if you have your video on, any of you playing anything in the background? Is it down? Any of you playing anything? Kevin, you're, are you playing anything? No, I'm not. We have feedback, no problem. Okay. Yeah, I can hear the feedback as well. <clears throat> you can hear the feedback. Okay, let me see something here. Can yeah, you it's, gone. it's gone? Oops, it's not. I can hear myself. <clears throat> you can hear yourself. Yeah, like Latino, can you hear yourself as well? Um, I'm speaking, but I don't hear the feedback. Okay, Kevin, can you hear feedback? No, it's gone. Okay, it's gone. Fantastic. Okay, well, Nathaniel, listen, let's get straight into it because I want to wrap this up in 20 minutes so people can understand what is that. Mean. What's happening in Jamaica as a result of COVID 19 and Jamaica together with that? Where does this vision come from? Well, I mean, this, this has really been um, something which uh, began um, about two or three weeks ago, whereby it was just a conception note, which um, began from one of the members of the Jama Global Jamaica Council members, as well as the ministries in Jamaica, whereby we have had um, a coming together of individuals um, from around the globe, in fact, um, ranging from, you know, um, diplomatic uh, you know, missions um, where you have the, the ambassador, Ambassador Audrey Marks from the United States and Consular General and uh, the ministries in Jamaica, as well as members of the, the media, members of the Diaspora Council, members of uh, the, the community really that are movers and shakers in different areas around the globe and we've come together really to try to address the issues of um, the lack of equipment in Jamaica for our healthcare workers. Now um, Kevin will elaborate more in terms of what the conditions are like in terms of the COVID-19 and how that's impacted Jamaica but the key thing is that we need vital equipment, protective equipment for our healthcare workers. These are the frontline people that are on the ground doing the work with people. Um, Jamaica lacks a lot of the testing equipment, the ventilators, they lack, um, you know, machines that are required to actually protect members of the public as well as protecting them, uh, masks and so forth. And, and so this is a collaboration event um, to bring together something that has never ever been done before. I mean, we're speaking about a, 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 a global, <laughs> um, a global initiative, um, which is focused on music. And this is where we have collaborated them with sports personalities, the cultural icons of Jamaica. Um, you know, we are going to be doing a concert, um, a virtual fundraising concert known as uh, the um, Jamaica Together We Stand. And you see, this is about standing together for one common purpose of raising money towards um, e e raising money towards equipment. And we've got major artists which are involved in that. Um, the Damien, Damien Marley's of the world, the Skip Marley, the, the, the you know, Junior Marley, we're, we're speaking about Tough Gong being um, involved. We're speaking about artists like Freddie McGregor, Popcorn, and, and um, you know, Maxi Priest, and um, legend, you know, legends like Jimmy Cliff um, that are involved in this, uh, in this initiative. And, 
this is going to be a concert which is going to hopefully contribute to raising about 10 million us dollars and um, we're trying to contribute to raise that and uh, so we need people to um donate online um it will be streamed online via the website which is uh, www um, ja together we stand up and i think that's going to be going along the screen at the bottom a bit later but this is a fundraising virtual concert which is to mobilize us around the globe you know covid 19 um is is, is something that affects everybody it, it is it is borderless it is um it, it doesn't matter which language it impacts and and you see it's the same concept with music and music has the ability to go across culture and go across nations and so this is going to be a dynamic concert a reggae concert predominantly but we do have gospel artists that are also going to be contributing to this as well such as uh, kevin kevin downswell and and other such um reggae gospel artists that many people would know um so it's it's going to be dynamic and uh, we have been part of this um working group um which has been um led by uh predominantly um ambassador audrey marks um and um, some key people that um have been involved um, such as karen donkley um who is a, the, a diaspora rep in one of the regions in in the united states and uh, we have been working on this for about two weeks and we've managed to collaborate with so many artists um you know i have personally been reaching out to um, people in my network to get videos of support and endorsements as well as others reaching out for videos of endorsements and we want this thing to be viral we want it to go far and wide you know what we're saying is that even if even if we can get um, so 50,000 or 100,000 people contributing a hundred dollars US yeah. then yeah. we would have raised that raised that money and and this is about going viral you know this is not necessarily about Jamaica this is about a global alliance you know people connect with our music everywhere and and this is about just helping those frontline workers and 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 it's so dying it's so fantastic in fact that we've had the unity in fact I was just speaking with ambassador yeah. Yeah. where she was saying that she's surprised at the mobilization and how this thing has just come together um you know when we have one common interest we have the ability to then create dynamic change you know it's about bringing, bringing each person together and then we create a powerful movement so this has been a fantastic um collaboration of efforts to actually have this fundraising concert is going to be aired online and streamed um from three o'clock uh, eastern standard time and 9 p.m gm uh, GMT and um, people can watch that online and also donate at www.jatogetherwestand.com, which is just passed right. through the screen. Right. Okay, fantastic. Um, thank, you, thank you so much for that, Nathaniel. Um, I'm just getting some sort of feedback. I just want to ask persons out there, I want to thank you so much for coming on. Uh, Rodney, Shani, Linda, June Daly, Word of Life, Kwame. I just want you to check and tell me if you can hear everything very clear. And it's not distorted while we continue. Um, Nathaniel, not, not Nathaniel, Kevin, Dr. Brown, how are you doing? Um, Fine, thanks. Can you give us a, can you give us a feedback as how Jamaica has been dealing with um, the whole COVID preparation? Because right now there's a complete sort of lockdown. The show places like Montego Bay, which is always busy, shut down. My town of Ochoa's shut down. Some places still people say, "We nah, shut down now." Where? May I still stay out, yeah. <laughs> but what has been, how has been the government working on this in Jamaica? Well, um, firstly, uh, I think Jamaica has been seen as one of the countries that has responded well to the threat of coronavirus. The government, um, very early on, um, you know, was very good with frequent communication with uh, the Jamaican population and what's happening. And they started to impose um, restrictions um, you know, on cruise ships, which were then, uh, you know, increased to flights um, coming in. And, and of course, our borders are completely closed now. Um, they've also implemented um, social distancing measures, their curfews. And, um, you know, I, I think the government, uh, some would argue, has, has really tried to um, implement um, measures um, to, to slow down and, and delay the spread of a coronavirus. I uh, think the challenge that Jamaica faces, um, Silburn, is that our health system was already under a bit of distress before coronavirus, um, and and so um, you know there is a there's a big challenge um, for the country um, if numbers continue to increase in terms of people affected by the virus. Currently, six to nine uh, people have the virus, and four people have already lost their lives, um, sadly. And so, what this telethon is about 
is trying to acquire the necessary uh, protective equipment for health professionals to keep them safe so they can continue to treat people who may need hospitals and uh, other uh, clinic uh, types of clinical care and and so the aim is to um is to well the government has estimated that they need around um 10 million us dollars to purchase all the required um mm. protective equipment for for health professionals um this telethon is not necessarily trying to raise all of that monies but we're certainly hoping to make a, a contribution a significant contribution to that target and so this is why we're calling on um, all all diasporans all jamaicans living overseas in particular um to participate in the telethon and to give generously where they can to support the acquisition of masks and other um important equipment so so that's why the, the telethon is being held and you know we we hope and pray that the the low numbers of coronavirus cases in Jamaica continue continues to, to be maintained at, at or, you know, or decrease level. or decrease or, absolutely absolutely yeah. so 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 yes you know because if you compare Jamaica to other countries um we we have not been affected as significantly as say the United Kingdom um where I think it was about 900 people died yesterday so well the UK they're saying is now is now Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's correct. Okay, that's one, 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 yes. that's, that yeah. is correct. Yes. Yes. So, so I'm just saying that you know, um, it seems that the government has responded quickly, and and they, they have a clear strategy on containment of the virus, and uh, the, the 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 important need now is that if there's an escalation in the number of people affected by the virus who will need to be hospitalized, then the, the telethon tonight it's going to be 9 p.m. UK time. Um, the yeah. telethon is about raising money to acquire the protective equipment because, as you know, as uh, you know, the health professionals are at the forefront of fighting this disease. And um, you know, we've already seen in the UK some members of the NHS that uh, unfortunately have lost their lives. You know, doctors and nurses. So um, you know, it's very important to have the appropriate um, protective equipment, and that's what the government is trying to raise monies to purchase. Yeah. Nathaniel, listen, um, as for the UK now, and you represent the, the South, Kevin represent the North regarding the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council. Uh, what, what have you guys been doing then to mobilize or to get Jamaicans uh, aware of this so Jamaicans can contribute, of course? Well, of course, you know, you've got the regular um, methods that we use, which has been via our Facebook pages and social media, which we've been really promoting heavily on Twitter channels, which seems to be getting a lot of traction. Um, yeah. In addition to that, we have our, our online newsletter that we that we um, send out to the members. And uh, we have several WhatsApp groups for different members and key key people within those communities which have received that. Um, and um, this this media has been shared and, and it continues to be shared which is good and part of the part of the idea of um, mobilizing more people has been actually by getting the endorsements from the artists so for example we have like someone like Usain Bolt who has millions of followers and people mm. like you know, um, Coffee you know the uh, younger young woman that has just done so much work for the first Grammy Award winning you know youth like that to receive that has a million, a million plus followers and you see what this um, is hoped to achieve is that within their own own um, networks, they are able then to share that and then reshare everything. So, um, you know, Shelley and Fraser Price, uh, this is the engagement of, um, you know, uh, sports press personalities as well that have the ability to share that. The same boat put something on his Twitter um, about this and um, uh, the ministers are doing that as well. So within 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 uh, my network in, in the South, um, it has really been through uh, Jamaicans Inspired and our network, which we have. Um, in addition to that, we um, have, have been, you know people were, were wondering because we've been doing promotions before so you know before we actually had the the YouTube um, link and and everything kind of came together we were doing soft promotions um, before we had the engagement of all of the artists that we have now there was other engagements with different posters and um, the response that we got was um, it would be good if we could have a working website that has everything together and so um, what we then did is actually we created another um, web page which has which we, we've got the live stream which is going to be live streaming from our site as well as well as having some information on the types of equipment um, that yes. people um, 
will need and, and, a, and a full equipment list um, of, of what they will get via the website. Um, so it is, it, it's an easy link to remember. It's just www.jamaicans-inspired forward slash telethon. Um, yes. And the links that they're to actually connect back into the JA We Stand Together, uh, Standing Together um, website, which will then allow them to make the payments online. So it's really been about communicating messages out um, in the right way um, around which telephone numbers can be called um, for payments. Uh, the phone lines are only going to be open during the period of the concert running. Um, then we have the website. The donations can be made via the website. The website will be online for four weeks post uh, the actual con uh, concert, which is happening this evening at nine o'clock UK time. Um, in addition to that, um, there has been um, feedback which we've been giving directly to the diaspora who have um, asked questions around this, around paying mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and donating. There's people that want to donate online. So um, if, if there are people that want to donate, let's say using a PayPal method, then they're going to yes. have to yes. log in to do that because um, the way the site is set that up. Is on, that is on the website. That's, on the that's website. right. That, that's on, on our website. The details are there, but this is something we need to communicate back out to the to to um, the diaspora in the UK in particular, in that um, if you're pay, making a payment via PayPal, you have to log into your PayPal account to make that. The others that you can use swipe no problem just enter your credit card details for um for the other one which is square you can use that and just just enter your debit card details enter your um your your uh, your credit card and you're going to be fine to actually make that payment um there is another payment which can be used for those only in jamaica but you will see that on the website when you log onto the yes. website yes. um the whatsapp number um you can actually text as well, and they will give you relevant information around that. So we're, we're just trying to communicate through all mediums and wow. uh, and channels. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what you're seeing, I've actually took the liberty of showing some of these in advance so that we in the UK can do our bit and uh, nobody's going to hijack it. The, pra the, the government is saying, stay in, so you can stay in and log on, yes? Is that person that that, that sing the song "Log On" gonna be there? Yeah, yeah, if I were to love that. <laughs> yeah, well, now, yeah. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin yeah. Know, yeah. sorry, Kevin, you're gonna say something there. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I was just just to add to what uh, Nathaniel was saying. Um, so so uh, yeah, we've been uh, I say we I, I've been working with various partners um, to promote the telethon as well. And uh, you know we we've had a very good response from Jamaicans, uh, especially in the northern regions of the UK and uh, people are quite keen to support this initiative. Um, there were some concerns around, you know, what will happen next in terms of transparency and accountability yeah. and ensuring that the monies collected will be ring fenced and used for uh, purchasing uh, medical equipment yeah. and protective equipment. Um, and we've been given assurances um, that the government will do so and that there'll be a specific account for the monies collected and, um, you know, people should be able to see um, how it's spent. So, um, you know, I, I think everything is in, is in place to ensure that, um, you know, we, firstly, we have a good telephone tonight and that people can give uh, generously and that, you know, there is no assurances that the money will be spent um, accordingly. So um, I just like to encourage everyone to, to support the initiative um, because, you know, uh, the diaspora is a big part of the Jamaican narrative. There are, are close to 3 million Jamaicans living outside of Jamaica. And if, if, if most of us give, um, you know, even a very small donation, um, it, it, it will multiply to a significant total. Um, and so, you know, I'd encourage everyone to give what they can, because these are difficult times, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm mindful that some people have lost their jobs. Yes. Some people may have been furloughed, to use the, what, the, the English term where where um, the government is, is, is now um, paying salaries, 80% of salaries and um, and so on. So I know these are difficult times and not everyone might be in a, you know, the, uh, the best financial position um, to, to give. But, but uh, you know, as I said, if, if we all give um, uh, en masse, if most of us give something small, you'd be surprised how much the, the grand total could be. So I'm, I'm hoping people will support this uh, initiative um, and as I said, you know, we have been reassured that the monies will be spent on purchasing 
per, um, um, protective equipment for our health professionals. Well, yeah, well, as we say, every maker make a muckle in Jamaica. Absolutely. And, and it's very exactly. interesting, the, PP, the PPE is one of the key factors regarding this telethon. We have seen in the UK here now that the government is sort of getting a sort of criti criticism because you have the frontline nurses, the NHS are going in with limited PPE, bus drivers as well, essential services. I've seen that the restaurant, the, the, the um, supermarkets now, they have all these masks over their face now. So everybody's recognizing this whole thing. Well, in, in, in wrapping up now, Natalia, listen. Yes, um, so this concert is gonna be in the stadium, National Stadium or Arena? No, this is going to be completely virtual. So this wow. is innovation right yeah. now at the time of COVID. So, you yeah, know, I mean, if this yeah, was a national yeah, stadium, let me tell you something, right? Let me tell you something, Silbert. If this was in the national stadium right now, it would not be able to hold because of the major artists that are doing this. I mean, Damian Marley, Ziggy Marley, you know, Buja Bantan, Freddie McGregor, you know, Maxi Priest, Capleton, you know, when you're speaking big art, Jack Cure, you know, these are big names. Mm -hmm. And Freddie McGregor and, and uh, you know, Jimmy Cliff, I mean, <laughs> there is something for everybody, you even have Spice and people at Popcorn and Ding Dong there, you know, doing their thing as well. So it, it, it is covering the full, um, fullness of Jamaican culture, both mm -hmm. in terms of our musicians and in in terms of our athletes and in terms of our professionals. Um, I know within the concert, we may be hearing from some of the frontline people as well as in addition to that, there is some people within the diaspora networks that have done contributions to this as well. Um, we've been getting videos from a, from a wide range of individuals. And if you do get the video um, via WhatsApp, um, please share the video. If you get the various different um, endorsements, share that with the text. We need this to go viral. This is not just about Jamaicans. This is about the world. You know, COVID-19 is impacting yeah, everybody. Yeah. And um, we can come together um, online virtually um, to actually do this. This is this is a this is a, this is this is the first of any of any sort of um, wow. online wow. virtual concert ever you know we've ever had. And yes. uh, when yeah. you look at um, uh, Christopher Martin actually did the first one where he kicked off on a live a live uh, concert that he did with himself but um and and some other artists but um you know now moving forward with this thing tonight it is going to be a really dynamic powerful coming together of many people for <laughs> that's 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 looking at some questions here. christine just come hi natalie pete i would like to I donate can. i'm sure you have said it but just say to her how she can donate i would like so to donate. christine so Christine, um, just for, for ease, Christine, you can actually go directly to um, the website, uh, which is now scrolling below, www.jatogetherwestand.com. That is www.jatogetherwestand. Um, and you can also go via um, our website, of course, jamaican Hyphen inspired dot com forward slash telethon and then you'll have the the live stream working there as well as the donate link yes. um so we yes. will there's going to be a newsletter which is going out to all the members um that will be able to pick that up within the next hour so all of those connection links in terms of donations will be there but um to do it directly just go directly to www.jatogetherwestand.com please do share this share this with other members of your community people that just like Jamaica or just interested in helping. It doesn't, isn't, this is not exclusive to Jamaicans. This is about the global yeah. alliance, um, global and, partnership. And that's and, and, and an important point there, Silburn, because, um, yeah, sorry, just, just to emphasize that it's not just about raising funds um, because the, the, the Jamaica's culture and reggae music is, is, is well known globally yes. you know, and it's appreciated by a lot of people. And, and so the concert tonight is also about inspiring hope and, and, and sort of just um, uh, bringing up a, a positive uh, vibes to, to the whole coronavirus pandemic. So, so you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's meant to be uplifting. Yes, you know? mm. So, you know, it's not just about getting people to donate, but we also want to inspire and, and give hope to the rest of the world. And I like you, like you, yeah. that you said hope, man, which is crucial. Well, someone just asked, and I believe you answered it, Nathaniel, uh, how will the funds be accounted for so there's transparency in its distribution? I don't know if you guys can answer that clearly. Well, I, I, I spoke to that and I think that you know, we, have been, we, have, we have spoken to uh, the government representatives we have, about this. We have been given assurances 
that there'll be a separate account for these monies collected and yes. that there'll be a level of transparency and accountability that should allow us to, to see how the money is spent. These yes. are the assurances that we've been given by the government of Jamaica. So, um, you know, on, on, on that situation, you know, one has to trust the government. And, you know, as long as they follow through with what they've said, then I think we can rest assured that the money will be put to the purpose that uh, it's meant for. That's right. And I think there's, there's also a level of um, buy-in as well from many of the artists that are actually engaged in this as well. So there is a lot of trust which, which we're given and, this, and because it is such a global thing, um, yeah. it means that there's gonna be even more eyes on it. So there's the assurance that, you know, this we've been, we've been told over and over again that it is going to be dealt with. And the issue of this actually came up very early in our, early in our meetings. I mean, um, we were speaking about this and we were really drilling down to this um, and looking at actually how people can actually make payments directly to this. The key thing is that this is not just about tonight. There is people I know within my network that have said, um, I'd like to donate in two weeks time or at the end of the month. And that you are able to do that because it's gonna be open for four weeks after this point. The, the telephone line is gonna close um, after the concert. They're gonna, it's gonna open at the beginning of the concert. It will close at the end. Um, again, we're trying to streamline the amount of resources and the amount of money which is being used um, to, 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 to raise the funds essentially. And, and of course, if we have people who are volunteering their time in a, in a, in a, in a, telecom, in a telecenter to do that, we don't have the ability to, to manage all of that. So the, the website will be open for uh, four weeks after this. Uh, it's a very simple process. You simply go yes. online, you go yes. www.jatogetherwestand.com um, It's about unity, it's about promotion, it's about inspiration, it's about working together, it is about uplifting, it's about giving hope, it is about inspiring, it's about helping music, you know, yes. to, to yes. emotion. And that's and 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 that's what this thing is about. Um, it's a global alliance effort yes. to try to yes. um, provide this essential equipment for healthcare workers in Jamaica. And ladies and gentlemen, one of the things that we want to do, and the reason why we said let's come on now and do this in a quick 30 minutes, is for you to share this video, share it with your friends, do them watch party or whatever like that. It will be uploaded on YouTube as well on my YouTube channel, Silver and TV or the Silver and Show. And it's going to be where you can be a part. Because right now, I'm sure a lot of people wish they could go to Jamaica. A lot of people wish they are in Jamaica. A lot of people have families in Jamaica. And also one of the things as well, which is happening in Jamaica, you know that a lot of business places are being shut down. The, the, the ship, the tourism is being shut down. So we need to actually reach out to Jamaica as much as possible. And just I'm just looking at this, Natalie. Like I can see here, um, Ziggy, Skip Marley. Uh, let me put on my glasses here. I'm looking at the flyer. Julian Marley, Ziggy Marley, Stephen Marley, Michigan. Yeah, uh, Albert Rose, Caperton, Freddie McGregor, right. Maxi Priest, George Nixon. Right. And if I go further, um, next one, I think yeah, it has, I'm see if I can know some of the names then. It has Mr. Man. Yeah. Ding Dong, you have Tony and Singh. We got yes. uh, Barry yes. Hammond, original coffee. <laughs> yes. You know, Marcia Mar 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 Griffith is the queen of reggae. You shaggy. Know, um, we have Shaggy, the real Shaggy. We have Sean Paul. You know, we have St. Bolt, we got Shelly and Fraser Price. There is a yes. number of people engaged in this, um, as well as the reggae, uh, the reggae gospel guys as well, where you're looking at um, Kevin Downswell as well, and um, yes. Oliver Samuels, you know, um, comedian. Oh, yeah. So, so, so going to get some jokes then, yes. yes yeah, yes. man, so it's, it's going to be a real entertaining um, evening. So tune in online. Um, it's going to be streamed both on VP Records um, YouTube page um, because we have the Marley's engaged in this as well. It's going to be on Tough Gun, Tough Gun TV, um, as well as um, other media platforms um, um, such as the JA Together, WeStand.com, and also on the network which um, we, we run, which is Jamaicans Inspired forward slash telethon so uh, there is no excuse not to catch it it is going to be working online and um please uh, if you get the flyer instagram post it you know push it out on your snapchat push it in your in your we transfer you know uh, if you get a video if you get a, a whole other video content send it out to multiple people that can download the video and share it with your content we need this to be viral please take a note 
of the yes. hashtag which is on the screen at the moment, which is hashtag JA Together We Stand. We want that to be viral and we want people to pick up on the hashtag JA Together We Stand. Make sure you put JA in front because there is another hashtag which says Together We Stand. We're not about that one. This is specifically for Jamaica. So hashtag JA Together We Stand. If you do a post, ensure that that is on it so we can get the traction and please do donate. We need anything um, any donation, no matter how small it is or how large it is, we 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 want to try to contribute to this uh, very worthy cause, and um, we're going to have a really good time this evening. And Nathaniel, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just I just just you know, you know, you know I definitely would want to encourage everyone to to support the telethon uh, and be entertained and inspired by the performing artists. Um, but I'd also just like to end by encouraging everyone out there to continue to look out for each other. Mm. You, know, uh, you know, my organization, Jamaican Diaspora UK, we've been working with several groups across the country to to ensure that our elders, um, you know, are, are getting support, whether it's um, befriending and just making sure that they're okay or providing meals where possible. So I'd just like to encourage everyone that although this telethon is focused on supporting the Jamaican healthcare system, you know, uh, 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 we still need to also remember that uh, there's a wider community out there, and, and hopefully, those of us who can will continue to support, um, you know, members of the community, especially the elders at this uh, during this very difficult time. I just want to really, I just really want to dovetail off of Kevin um, yes. in that. Um, likewise, in the South, we've been doing a very similar thing with the elders. And um, this is where, you know, some of the companies um, have, have really got to kind of big up some of the companies that have helped um, to provide food for our elders. Um, where uh, Grace Grace Foods UK has actually really helped as well as uh, Port Royal Patties uh, for us right. in the South, um, as well as... Um, uh, Windrush Bay, um, who have provided um, food for some of the elders that we've been working with in the South. So um, just really to echo what Kevin said, and also the young people as well. Um, yes. the, the, you know, our youth, basically, I don't know if you know, uh, Silbron, but um, the, the, the amount of um, cost of drugs has gone up um, and, and, and some of the elders within these gangs are trying to get our young people to sell at a higher price. So um, wow. it's also just yeah. being mindful of our youth, speaking to our young people. Yes. And um, yeah. if any youth actually watch this, just remember to stay focused on your studies. Don't get locked into negative things. Um, zone into this. You know, many of these reggae artists have grown up in, you know, really impoverished communities, but they've stayed on. They've stayed on track. When you're looking at artists, um, you know, um, that have come through the ghetto and people like Shelley and Fraser that's grown up in really um, hard communities. They've they've stayed focused on their dreams. So yes. this is just mm -hmm. a message of encouragement for the youth. You know, never allow your dreams to become a regret. Stay focused and and. Uh, Let's work together um, as Fantastic. one. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us, Nathaniel and uh, Kevin. Thank you so much. Uh, both of them are the representative for the global. global did I get it right? Global Jamaica yeah, Jamaican Jamaican Aspect Council. Yes, uh, Nathaniel represents the South, including London, and uh, Kevin is the North, including Birmingham. But I know there's a wider version from that as well. And as in, as the, the the update which came out, what it says, let's come together globally and feel all right for the first ever live online Easter reggae concert. Celebrate the great resurrection, hope and joy of the season as Jamaican artists and celebrities give back to a hurting world in concert with songs, and messages of inspiration this Easter Sunday, April 12th at 3 p.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time, which is 9 p.m. UK time. You have seen the details, which is below. It's very clear, and we've got a good update from the men who are leading it from the front. And uh, remember, as I said, please share and like this video and share it to your friends so everybody can know and can be a part of it. Uh, finally, guys, have you got bun and cheese? Yeah, man, I got my bun and cheese. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, I haven't. I haven't had a bun and cheese yet. So you don't get the bun. You don't get the bun. Listen, before they did, before they did the lockdown, I made sure I got mine in. And um, oh, okay, Grace, right. Grace was doing a big bun thing where they were sending out different things you had to order online so I made sure I had that before. So, so I, on, I so put one in the freezer. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Are, you trying to, are you trying to link COVID-19 with bun and cheese? Some conspiracy there, like 5G thing? Because you, <laughs> you, you have previous <laughs> no. knowledge. 
Not another country <laughs> before, <laughs> please. We've had so many. So many. I couldn't cope with another one right now. Um, I, I, I tell you what I've done. Somebody said, if you guys are so crazy about 5G, I'm not going down there. They said, you guys no. need to go back to walkie-talkie and CB. So I've named myself CD Tango 1. Over. You know? So you guys are going Roger back. That. Roger that. Roger that. Yeah, it, 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 you know, I'm, 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 I'm just old enough to remember um, CB radio. Uh, you know, <laughs> my my uncle in law had one in his car. Um, yeah. You know, but but you know, my kids won't won't even know what that is. You know, it's yeah, interesting. Yeah. You know, things have moved so fast. Yes, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Roger over out from City Tango One, Silver and TV. Kevin, what are you, Roger? What? Over. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> Roger that. Silver and Roger that. Thank you guys so yeah. much, and let's have a good night tonight. Right. And of course, I'll be on yeah. and, and things like that. Thank you. Bless Thank you, you both. Have a good Thank evening. You. Thank okay. you. Bye. bye bye. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, um, thank you so much for coming on today. And um, as you can see, we had a, a great update from Nathaniel and uh, Kevin. So all I can say is, please come on later. Please check out the show. Uh, I mean, enjoy the show donate invite your friends as well and who knows I, I don't know i think tonight i was supposed to have at some point uh dr um burton david burton to update further on ppe as we had that discussion earlier we're going to keep that i'm going to make dr burton my resident um dr hillary for anything like that so anyway thank you very much uh, please share this video we're going to put it on facebook uh youtube shortly and have a good evening and thank you very much Bye bye